friends and family. Today I'm going to talk to you about geometric solids. Our geometric solids in the classroom is found on sensorial shelf. In our sensorial area we see sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. My objects I found at home are going to match the objects that we have in the classroom. You can do it at your house too. To start I'm going to do the cylinder. The cylinder is round at both ends. It can be a can, it could be the toilet paper roll like at my house I found the cylinder. Next we have the cube. The cube has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. In my home I found the cube. It has my six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next up, we have the sphere. It's not a sphere, it's called the sphere. In my home, I found the sphere as a golf ball. Next, I have ovoid. The ovoid, remember, is smaller at the top and larger at the bottom. It looks like the egg. So in my home, I found an egg. Next I have the rectangular prism. The rectangular prism is longer on the sides and shorter on the ends. In my home, I found a Kleenex box. Longer on the sides and shorter on the ends. Next I have the triangular prism. The triangular prism has the triangulars on the ends and longer on the sides. In my home, I found the top of the orange juice container. It has my triangle shape and it has the longer on the sides. My triangular prism. Next, I have the ellipsoid. The ellipsoid is the same at the top and the bottom. In my home, I found the ellipsoid to be my football. My football is the same on both ends. Next, we have the pyramids. The first one is the square base pyramid. Space meaning the bottom, pyramid means it comes to a point. So in my home, I found a Christmas object. Square base and it came to a point. My square based pyramid. Next in the pyramids family, we have the triangular based pyramid. Triangular meaning the shape of the bottom, the base, and pyramid means it comes to the point. In my home, I looked around and couldn't find one, but I got creative. I got out my Play-Doh and I made my own triangular based pyramid. The last one we have is our cone. No, I know y'all like to say ice cream cone. It's just a cone. It's round on the end and comes to a point. So in my home, I found an e Halloween costume. My unicorn. My unicorn has the round at the top and it comes to a point. So take a few minutes and walk around your home. See how many objects that you have that create the geometric solids. Make up some words and be your own teacher and make your own classroom. Thank you and hope you have a great day.